There's been a lot of discussion. That's why I'm bringing up. People might be saying, oh, Ruther, you're going to cover Women's World Cup. Well, one thing, I thoroughly enjoyed this. I enjoyed the shellacking. No mercy. I loved it. But a lot of people were saying, should they have taken their foot off the gas pedal? The answer is yes. <laughs> I, I disagree. Okay. I disagree. Why? Why? Like, what? what are they? What's the point? No mercy, man. Do you go to the same level of no mercy across the board in sports? Well, who gives a fuck if Kevin Durant ripped his knee? His knees, his Achilles is torn either way. His Achilles isn't not getting torn because the Raptors fans fucking boo him. Fucking boo him. Wave goodbye. Throw a soda at him. He's not getting any more hurt. Fuck him. No mercy. Pimp all the home runs. Drill everybody. Like, you know, is there something? Is there something in sportsmanship? Is there something? I understand that there's a goal differential. I understand that that's part of the equation. 100%. Right. The U.S., the defending champs, are getting out of the group. And the goal differential might make the difference. But if they win 7 nothing, their goal differential is fine. 13 well, nothing. They were still doing it late in the game. And it was still just like this aggressive pushing. I'm now, all for it. Okay. I if, a, if a Thai female soccer player, just one person on the team, one person doesn't like that the United States is running up the score. And that one person decides to chase Utley, Alex Morgan, and just dive bomb her knee. You're you're still fine with it? They ran him up 13-0. You're fine with the best player in the U.S. getting taken out on purpose instead of them winning 7-0 versus 13-0? Because that's what happens in sports. People don't like to get embarrassed. You get embarrassed as a team, and you're a part of a team. But sometimes one player on the other team is like, you know what? Fuck you. Well, he, here's a good example. Well, there's a couple things in play here. One, obviously, I'm not a soccer expert. I don't know anything about the sport. I don't know how you take the foot off the gas pedal. I know in basketball, you can dribble the ball around, kill the shot clock. Football, you just run the ball up the middle. I understand those sports. I don't know. Like, when the ball is in the box like that, and it was consistently— well, it have to get into the box like they're that. They're supposed to kick the ball backwards? That's no, my question. But it was a full-on, full pressure attack of the goal the entire game. At some point. Also, what about the just the celebrating of every goal? The counting the goals as you come off the fucking field. The, everybody's at like, Joe, at, what, at what point do you put in, say, your less less players because you're up 7 nothing. They go, did. They did at okay. a certain point. I was going well, to have five goals. Well, well also, there's what another, was their last goal? The 10th of the game? There's the another. Ninth? There's another factor in play here. We're not talking an 82 basketball game season, 162 baseball. These women or any of these World Cup athletes, they play once every four fucking years. Okay. Get your money's worth. If you can score 30 fucking goals on these uh, on your opponents, score 30 goals. I don't have any problem with the celebration. I don't have any problem with them running up the score, if you want to call it. They're just playing. Well, it's not about them just playing, though. Like, if in soccer, if you're up 2 nothing in a soccer game, right, and you're, uh, and you're uh, playing – for the World Cup, a lot of times there is a strategy of like, we're done scoring. Yeah. Don't score anymore. A defensive don't, strategy. Don't give them the opportunity. So it's not like it's impossible. It's not like we're talking about basketball where like Michael Jordan just kind of dribble and then like go out of bounds. There's just like a holding the ball situation. There's no shot clock. There's going into a defensive thing and going like, we're just not going to let them score. We're going to win this game 7 nothing. It just comes down to. What are you trying to prove by being up 13? And then another team reacting in a way that you don't like, you have to live with the consequences of that. That's something that happens when you coach baseball or when you play baseball. If you're up 10 runs and you tell your team, we're not stealing bases anymore, guys. No more stealing bases. Why? Because when you steal a base, he's going to get hit in the ear. And then what the fuck? Who cares that you stole a base? But it's going to matter when he goes to the fucking hospital. So just don't do it anymore. So why put yourself in a position where somebody is going to be out to get you? For what purpose? Well, my point is, what did it achieve? No one's talking about this in a way that's like, yeah, yeah fuck yeah. you, 13 nothing. Should have been 14. Like, it didn't prove any more than 10. So what is the point of doing it? Can I jump in real quick? Uh, I hear the repercussions argument. When it comes to, like, running up the score in sports and, and doing all that, and I think this goes for all sports, do you think it's almost more disrespectful, though, to to lay off the gas pedal? It's very simple. Put in your lesser players 
and let's see what they can do. But they did, Joe, and okay. then those girls like, were scoring. Jo Alex Morgan scored five goals. Did she score five of the first six? Did she score five of the first ten? This is their best player. What was her last goal? That ninth goal of the game? Like, she had five goals. If you're the United States, what at what point against Thailand, when you're so dominant, do you go, we, we're going to win this game no matter what? I, you know, you, like, I don't know, but like four goals, five goals. So five goals into the game, put in people who may not get international opportunities to play in the later rounds. Like, let them go for it. We're talking about the best player scored five goals. Yeah, but to Aaron's point, I watched the post-game coverage from a few different networks, and a lot of people said what he just said. They do view it as disrespect if you, quote-unquote, take the foot off the gas pedal. Look, I know they suck. This is how badly I know they suck. Their backup goalie literally got on the team by submitting a YouTube video. I'm not even making this shit up. I think this story's way different if it's 9 nothing and Alex Morgan gets taken out with a hard foul, doesn't play the rest of the tournament, and they end up losing to Japan 2-1 in the final game. I think a lot of people are like, uh, maybe we shouldn't have tried to score fucking 10 goals. Because that's not something that you're telling the other team to do that's not something their coach is telling one other player to do yeah but i don't think that's going to happen again it's the world I, hold on, I stick by this it's the world cup this happens once every four years you can't get any bigger than the world cup so what are you saying do you remember the world cup where a guy on france head butted the chest of a, a italian player during the during the world cup finals where you like try to crack his sternum with a headbutt do you remember that i do because remember he was like fuck, fuck you guys, guys. yeah because he's like, I'm pissed off and fuck you. People do shit like that. And when people do shit like that is when they're losing and they feel embarrassed. You're putting your players in a position to get hurt for what? Good for Hey, good for Alex Morgan. She got her five goals. I hope somebody doesn't fucking shred her knee in, in another blowout. I, hey, I hope they win. I, I live in the U.S. Good for the U.S. I hope they win every game 14 nothing. But if they win next game 14 nothing and somebody chase out Lee's her because... Garbage athletes exist out there that are out there solely to hurt people. I think we're doing apples to oranges, in my opinion, when we're talking about a long baseball season versus an event that happens once every four years. That, that doesn't factor in at all to one person flipping out because they feel like they're getting embarrassed and trying to hurt somebody. What's going to stop them from doing that at a closer game versus a blowout? Because they don't feel like you're going out of your way to like disgrace them. You don't throw alley-oops in fucking blah basketball games. You don't steal bases in blah baseball games. You don't throw long in the end of fucking blah football games. It's why you go to the run. It's not like Baker Mayfield doesn't want to stockpile passing yards. Yeah. You do it because you're like, what am I going to do? I'm going to throw a bomb in this situation for what? To score more points? Well, what if somebody rips Odell Beckham out of the sky but, because but this, uh, this defensive back's in Sick of getting embarrassed. But records were at – here's what's interesting, too, and, and then we'll wrap this up. Records were at stake as well. Let's say you have the, the record for most rushing yards in a game and your team's up 28-7. to 7. What's the difference between Alex Morgan tying the all-time record and also the women's team now having the biggest goal differential in the history of the World Cup and most goals scored? What's the difference between – in fact, that, I, no one gave a fuck about that record before or after, and no one will ever talk about it again. I think that's, I agree. I disagree with you. Okay. There. Did you know what the goal differential in women's World Cup records were before yesterday? No, I didn't. But I but I know that they set the record for both the men's and women's. I think that's pretty significant that that they've set this all time record. Again, it, it's to me, it's the same thing as the team running the ball. When you say, "Hey, you're up four touchdowns, but you can get the all time rushing record," you you, you realize that they were up thirteen touchdowns. They're not up three, four touchdowns. They're not up four goals. She didn't have five of their six goals. They they they, kicked, they had 13 goals in the game. If Saquon Barkley. You're go, you're just going to keep unwrapping the same thing a million times. What I'm telling you is no, no, it's such a absurd number that you're the you're putting yourself in danger of somebody going, fuck you guys. That's it. That's all I'm saying. If Saquon Barkley is on pace. Saquon Barkley's not in a 60 to nothing game. He's not in it at any point, ever. Never in it. There's no situation where Saquon Barkley's in a 60 to 0 NFL football game. And guess what? If he were, 
people would be freaking out. They'd be like, what is Barkley still doing in there? This is he, what if he gets hurt? If if they can't take Alex Morgan out, and I don't I don't know if she could have been taken out with the substitution situation, but if they can't take her out, you're saying don't play as well as you can. Where I'm saying, look, she's in there. Play the best of your ability. Guys, hey, here's the thing. Do whatever you want. Also, be prepared for some psychotic Thailand chick to hammer bomb your knees because you're embarrassing her. This is the first and only time that she'll be on national TV in her entire life. She's on her period. You've scored seven goals on her, and she has decided to fucking murder you. Okay, we, we don't agree. It's fine. I have a problem with putting your players in danger for for what? That's the only thing I want the answer for. For what are you putting them in danger for? Well, my response, again, could be that they could be putting their players in danger at any score. I'm saying, what are you proving? What is the point here? What are we doing? What I'm saying is... Why take the foot off the gas pedal? This is once every four years. It's fine. We don't we don't agree. We can agree to disagree. Guys, if you liked that video, subscribe to us on YouTube. Do it right now. They're on YouTube. Oh, that's right. right now. Smash the like button. Throw down on the like button or up if it's over there. Or is it over there? And leave a comment. Argue with us. We're here. We're not going anywhere. We'll respond to you. You might get some more Bill Walton over here. I don't know where the subscribe button is, but take your finger and throw it down on the button. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>